one. Agreed. Uh, but the thing is, okay, so what do they have against TA? Whenever I see TA, I'm thinking Refraction. What do you have a best rune you can get? <laughs> and then straight to a smoke gang. They're going to beat down on Goidfa. Temple of Assassin, now the Refraction is up with three defensive charges. Well, this doesn't really last too long, but they're going to come in anyway. So DDC, Telekinesis is going to have to drag it back. There's Jaleesi, drag it through. Dragon Tail is also up, and that's going to be Koi for his death. There's nothing. DD has got the huge fist just pumping into it, but it's Rabbit that takes the first blood here in the middle lane. LGD off to a fantastic start. Friends are going to arrive for LGD pretty quickly too. Living Armor is about to come off cooldown in two seconds' time, and Yao's already popped the Scorcher. Moves inside the tree line, and there's three heroes coming under. And he comes to TP support. The Doom goes on Bulba, and he was there as their second stun. That was literally it. There's a Malavus on over in the corner. Way too, he's got to use the conversion to block out Yao at this point. He's on the run out. Rabbit, Dragon Tail, not enough mana for it. He goes for the poison attack, and Way too is on the run out here on the bottom lane. But Yao right behind him. There goes your Arcane Boots, which means Breathe Fire now available for Rabbit. So his TP is well worth it. It's three for zero. Hyper Strike is ready. Dragon Form's wearing off too. This is not the greatest time for LG to fight, but they'll give it a shot. In comes Rabbit. Moonlight Shadow. Black Hole catches Yao as well as Rabbit. And oh, Black Hole. Oh, no, it's oh, Viper Strike. He got Viper Strike, sending it back in again. But look at the damage. Lin jumps in. The Starfall damage. Liquid have lost basically everybody here. The tree and Ulti held him there. Triple kill for Lin. And it's might even be an Ultra kill. Bulba dying inside. DD will take that one. And now Roshan. There are the Plague Wards in here, which they should probably get rid of before they finish Roshan, just in cases. But they can take out Roshan. DK picks up the Aegis of the Immortal. Look well, but now Bulba. Well, Sentry Ward reveals the horrible, horrible fact that he's got a DK in front of him and a tree on the other side. Gale will come out, Venomance are all but, but well, there goes your reincarnation. There's a good ultimate coming out from Jimmy. Way too, looking for his ultimate as well, but the tree ulti will keep him back for now. Bulba, low on life, and Rabbit just stands his ground. Actually, coined for being the man to be doomed up at the moment. He is ticking out all the damage, and there's your bounce out, Lin. Well, way too sexy. He's going to go down. It's just the Mirana standing on the edge. The black hole will hold him there, but that was all it was. And considering that fight started with LGD basically at half life, then the mech came up. Venomance are the only man to survive. So they have to go on someone else. He Plague has 500 health. J sorry, Jim, Jimmy okay. threw, he threw a play ward out. They, they, they saw comes. him from behind. And now the jump in. Yao, he actually gets gailed. Viper strike. And now he's just standing there and tanking. And Scorch has gone. And TCB picked up and on back. Boy, with the BKB. Moving quite freely. But Bulba almost down straight away. And Lin, just the lightning maelstrom proc. He got the first kill out. And the Viper buys back instantly. But they wait for Bulba to reincarnate back up again. Searching for more kills on him. Koifa, he doomed. He BKB'd and doomed. And had to run himself back out again. And they focus now onto the melee ranks. The Moonlight Show is giving some level of cover fire here. The Sentry Ward's also down the high ground. That's the gem from from, uh, from Pegasus, which is showing it out. Wait, there's no risk for them in not going for it. The amount of farm <gasps> oh. they have is incredible. It's side blade damage. It went up from Roshan and hit into DDC. It's the instant flag that Liquid are inside the pit. And Rabbit's sitting right next to Way too picked up, throwing down Breed Fire with the cheapest guys while Coif is gone. They get snapped back. And GG, 25 minutes in, 17 to 4. I really feel like this best of three didn't do Team Liquid any kind of justice. They played so well throughout the international that I feel sad that this is their final best of three. Best Still, really at the end of the day, in a tournament like this, when it's big games, you have to pull out the big performances. True. So, you're right, they've been playing better through the, through the rest of the tournament, but there also hasn't been the same amount of pressure on them as in this one. This was one of the really important games, and I think the pressure just completely got to them. Um, they were not they were not ready for